in this module, we are going to publish our report to the Power BI service, powerbi.com, and then look at a few different ways that we can share that report with others. So we have our finished report here with three different report pages. And on the home tab, there is a publish button. Now, before we do that, I could share this report with others by simply sharing this file in the same way that you would share an Excel workbook or a Word document. I could just share this file and others who have Power BI desktop will be able to open it and use the file in the same way that we are. So that is an option, but we are going to publish this to the service. Now, before I do that, it's important that we are logged in. I can see in the corner that I am logged in with my account. So make sure that you are logged in. And if you do not have a Power BI account, then go to powerbi.com and sign up because you will need an account to use the service. Okay, so I'm logged in already. If I click publish, that will list all of the workspaces that I have as a destination. I've just got the one, which is the default my workspace, which you immediately get when you've signed in for an account. But we can create different workspaces for different types of reports. If I select that, it will publish it to that workspace. And we have success. Now I can open that report now in the service through the link. I can also use the link to get quick insights. Now we're not going to get into that in this course because the Power BI service offers so much we could dedicate hours of lessons to it. And this Power BI course is just an introduction. But that's something that I recommend checking out. For now, I'm going to click the link to open my report in Power BI. And here we have it. So this is the Power BI service, otherwise simply known as powerbi.com at the time of recording this video. And the look of it has changed recently. You can see at the top, I currently have the new look on with this little toggle. So don't be surprised if it looks a little different because maybe you're using the old look or maybe by the time you watch this, they may have made further changes to it. Now it looks similar to the Power BI desktop, although you can see the pages are on the left-hand side instead of tabs at the bottom. And I can navigate my pages by simply clicking them there. On the far right, we have the filter pane, just like we do in Power BI Desktop. And everything that we've set up in our report will work. So on this summary page, if I clicked a country, such as the USA, then that will filter my column chart to the left. That interaction works in Power BI service the same way it works in the desktop. And I can click the USA again to remove that interaction. The slicer at the top will work the same. I can drag the ends of that slicer and it's filtering my report through that date range. And if I change my page to yearly variance, I still have that filter in the filter pane from a previous lesson. And I can use that to filter for a country such as Denmark. And I can see that take effect as well. So this is pretty cool that we're in a browser that once we've published this, I could access from anywhere where I have an internet account. I just simply go to powerbi.com, log in, and I have access to this report, which is fully interactive. And I can view it myself, or I could be showing this report to an audience in a meeting. At the top of the screen, we also have the date that this was last updated. That is the 6th of May, 2020, as that's a UK date format. 
and we have a bunch of settings on the far left that as I mentioned we won't be able to explore in detail. But one of them there is my workspace and also the option for workspaces. So my workspace is the default workspace for me which if I was to click to expand I can see the different reports and data sets and dashboards that I might have in there. There's just one more report called sales and a couple of different data sets. I could also expand the workspaces section above and in here I can go and look at creating a new workspace which I could then invite and share with my colleagues if I need other people to access this report in the same way that I do. These are areas that are worth looking into but for now we have published this report successfully and we can access this report now from anywhere through a browser. And we can access this report anywhere now easily through a browser and we don't have to worry about having access to that .pbix file and having Power BI desktop software installed on the laptop or on the other device that we're using at that point in time. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.